Hello, I'm Jane from Loopy Space and I'm coming to you from my studio here in Sheffield and this is where I answer most of the questions that come in. Um, hello, I'm Jane from Loopy's Place and I'm coming to you from my studio here in Sheffield and I'm back to answer one of the questions left by one of the uh, subscribers um, last week. Over the last few weeks, we've had a lot of questions coming in about the Toyota Quiltmaster. It's a machine that I used to use a few years ago, um, and it worked very well for me. It's been retired at the moment, but I've kept it as a spare because uh, it has worked really well. So we've talked about um, the basic threading, the cleaning. Um, recently, we did about um, where to oil it, changing the bulb. And somebody's asked this week about putting it all back together again when you take it apart. I always warn my beginner students when you've got a mechanism like this, when it comes to putting it back, you can start panicking because you can't work out how it's going to go in and you think you've done irreparable damage to your machine. But you're not going to do that. I hope some of the markers that I point out today will make it easier for you to put yours back in. So though we are doing this uh, specifically for the Toyota Quiltmaster today, the same principles apply to other machines that have this um, set up on them. Okay, so I've taken my pieces out. So if it's the first time that you've done it, I always found that it was useful to take it out in the order that I took it out um, facing the way that it goes back in, just as a um, reminder. So here we go, um, we've got this C bit here. So that's the bit that oscillates backwards and forwards when you're stitching. So if you have that to the left hand side and you're going to slip this bit back in. So I find it helpful to find markers to know where they're going. So this bit here, you can notice the hook. This is what will grab the thread um, as it comes round. The bottom of that C fits into that hook. So if you think of that when you're doing it, it does help. So this bit finds it useful just to hold onto that pin and then just slide it in. It has a little ridge inside that it sits upon and then underneath there you'll see that the hook is wrapped around that C bit. So this bit then goes back in to hold it in together. So on the Toyota it has a pin here that fits into that gap there and at the top that's where the um, arm on the bobbin case fits in. On the top you've got this, this plate here with the points on and they point into the machine and you've got your dimples here for the arms to fit into that go on the outside. So sometimes when you're putting this back in you can tend to knock the rest of it out. So there you go, push that in as far as it goes and then I'm going to push that arm over and that arm over there. And that's it, that's how you get it back in. Now, the first few times you do this, you're full of nerves because you think you're going to break it. It's unfamiliar um, and you can start to panic, which makes it, makes it worse. Uh, it can drop out and I can remember coming out in hot sweats thinking it's never gonna go back in. But I do find that once you realize how it works and how it fits together, it does make it easier. So the points to remember is the hook on this piece here fits around that C there. There is a groove for it to fit into, so once it's in, it fits up against that groove, it doesn't go any further, and it just sits there. And then this plate goes over the top, and making sure that the points on the top of the plate are facing inwards, and that you've got the little pin to fit into the groove at the bottom. So I hope you find that's useful. It's not just um, the Toyota that has a mechanism like that, so you'll find it useful for other machines as well. 
If you have any questions, do let me know. Just pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and just down below there's a bell. So just click that and you'll get notifications when um, new videos are uploaded. Look forward to speaking to you very soon, but in the meantime, do take care. Bye for now.